Toronto media has never been the same since this. Some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You don't even want to hear say that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that, you know, because it's negative and you're being negative. And I, 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 met, I met the mayor right. and nothing they can do about it. Both. So interesting you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. That's... No, that was a piece of fuck you. That was a piece of shit. You know, we're, we're doing we're doing live TV. Yeah, I don't care. What are going to do about it? Is it nerve wracking for you to do something like this or is it more nervous for you to box? It's more nerve wracking for me to hear talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. Come on, like right? Not because you're a piece of shit. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna wrap, wrap up this interview. Thank you for thank you for coming in. Fuck you. I want to say, in my opinion, Toronto media, stop asking the tough questions. But what if that interview happened in today's time? Let me get to the point. The reason why Toronto radio is stale is because we lack those moments. Put some respect on my name. One of the greatest moments in Toronto radio history is this. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm never coming up to this station again unless you unbleep Leo. The word ass, I understand you take that out. Right, but white girl, I can't say the word white. For the record, I got no problem with it, but I'll tell you what we're gonna do. If you want a chance to freestyle, I'll say what you want to say and get it out there. We're no, music for no, I'm not giving the station no more freestyle. I freestyled right. last time I was here with Jay. Right. I turn around and you bleep out Leo for a white girl. It's nothing, it's nothing even like racial about that line. It's an observation about a social issue. And it's really, if, if anything, it's more offensive to, uh, to, to black people. It's not, it's not an offensive line. People shouldn't feel a way, a way about it. It's like, this, this is the real world. You see, as long as there's, uh, as long as there's racist, there will be racism. And I'm not a racist. But you're here to talk about it, and other people know what's up. Yo, man, stop co-signing, man. You're messing up my ass. Man, you're doing like ass on me. I'm talking about something serious. I'm, I'm with you. you. I'm not playing, you're, Donnie. I'm serious. I, I feel like you're making it sound like Hollywood. Like, yo, yo, <laughs> tell the people why you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them why you're mad, son. And it, it's not like that. I'm, I'm like, talk to, I want the program director to tune in right now. Yo, Flo, Canada, Toronto. This this your boy. Yo, stop it, man. I'm talking, man. Why is Hot 97 and Power 105 still relevant with minor changes to its staff? You see, it's quite simple. They managed to keep up in the digital era. They realized even though a certain demographic still do listen to radio, they can't ignore the demographic that is stuck on these. Taking their morning shows, afternoon shows, directly to your favorite platform. See, our broadcast format here in Toronto, dragging their feet. A YouTube channel hasn't been updated in a year, and their social media presence is dull. And as one of the biggest stations that's been around for quite some time, this is very disappointing. We need more of this. Stop it, man. I'm talking, man. And less billboards downtown or Instagram sponsored ads on the latest shows and hosts. For more introspectives like this, please don't hesitate to subscribe to us and follow us on our social media platforms. Hit that like and smash that notification to stay up to date with the latest. Vegas for GTV News.